Matt is in Baton Rouge. Hey, Matt, how are you? I'm doing well, sir. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. What's up? I just have a quick question. So I'm a relatively new listener, and I started listening just in time to hear you talk about the bank craziness going on. And I'm just curious. This might be a really stupid question, but how can the FDIC ensure every deposit under two hundred fifty thousand dollars where do they get the money and i'm not even exactly sure what the fdic is can okay. you give like a brief crash course rundown sure it stands for federal deposit insurance corporation it's the federal government writing insurance against your bank's failure now do they have a pile of money equal to everyone's covered amount absolutely not but your insurance company does not have a pile of money equal to everyone at state farm totaling their car this week either if everybody totaled their car at once state farm's gone they don't have that much money Mm -hmm. okay what they're running is they're running probabilities statistical probability Mm -hmm. of this occurring Uh, and so if enough banks went down at one time to destroy the amount of money that the federal deposit insurance corporation the federal government could get their hands on uh that means the entire american economy has collapsed and you should buy a gun gotcha gotcha so it's it's publicly funded no sure. well right? it, it matt think no. of it like how how your insurance works if you have state farm everybody's paying their premium and they're paying into this big pile of money so that when uh-huh. somebody needs to actually use their insurance there's money there and it's the same thing with fdic these insured banks are Pay. paying premiums to FDIC, okay, so, so the there's a big stack of money. FDIC. The banks fund the FDIC with their premiums, but they don't yes. give it enough money to cover all bank failures that simultaneously occurring. No. Gotcha. But gotcha. it is a lot of okay. money. It's plenty to cover <laughs> plenty. anything that's actually going to occur. Yeah. But if uh, but but the mathematics are to your point, Matt. Uh, the mathematics are just like if all of State Farm autos had a t- got totaled in one month they would there's not enough they don't have the money to cover all that because mm-hmm. they're running it on probabilities and so this is an insurance policy based on a you know a a, a projected number of bank failures in a given decade mm-hmm. a, plus a lot and so it's a very conservative set of mathematics meaning you could have a whole bunch of banks fail mm-hmm. uh, we had a lot of them cashed out uh, fdic and and went belly up fdic took them over resold the banks yeah. the sale of the bank the money goes back into the insurance policy as well to mm-hmm. cover but um that happened in 2008 a lot more than in That's the right. last in the last three or four months or so yeah. so but if you had um 25,000 banks crash at one time there's not enough money and by the way, if 25,000 banks crash at one we, time, we got issues. life as we know it <laughs> in America no longer exists. That's right. There's a whole lot of other crap that goes with that. That can't be just an independent thing. Yeah. you got to understand that if that occurs, everywhere you shop is out of business. Oh, yeah. We're looking for clean water and, and, and supplies. Exactly. Not- <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not we're not looking for gold. Yeah, that, that's exactly what we're doing. So that that but it's a good question. And it's good something to think about. So yeah. um, no. and, and it's good that. You know, we do a little bit of education on yeah. it occasionally here.